By turning on the handle, we will now prime the material up through the hose and into the gun. By doing so, by turning this on, the material pump will start to activate and start pumping up and down. Allow this to pump up and down until you notice material exiting the mixing nozzle. At that point, you will then shut the material valve in the off position. Next, we are going to reprime the catalyst pump. At this time, it turned on. So. With the material primed, we're now going to go back to the catalyst pump and we're going to hand pump the catalyst until the gauge starts to read pressure. Once the gauge reads about 200 to 300 pounds, we're going to stop, bring the drive arm up and reconnect it to the drive arm of the material pump. You want to show the pump? You want to show the pump? With the, we are now ready to dispense material. The material gun handle is in the off position. By turning this into the on position, it will send a signal and the catalyst and resin pump will be stroking, dispensing catalyzed material through the mix nozzle out the end of the mixer. Once you are finished, you will turn the valve in the off position. You can then purge the bulk of the resin and putty the putty and catalyzed material out of the mixer by turning the solvent valve on first, then solvent valve, then air flush, solvent flush, and air flush. You can allow the air flush to stay on until you feel that the mixing nozzle is clean and ready for use again. This is a short time uh, solvent flush so that way you're ready to use it for the next time which could be in another you know five to ten minutes for a long-term shutdown what we plan to do is we want to make sure that we have good clean solvent exiting the mixing tube turning that ball valve in the off position turn the solvent air flush valve on purging out any excess solvent. We come down at the end, make sure that the threads are clean and a couple of turns of the nightcap, then come back to the solvent valve, turning the solvent valve on to see a little bit of solvent ooze from the thread area. Once you see that solvent exiting, screw the nightcap all the way down, come back to the solvent valve and turn it in the off position. By doing so, you're filling this whole mixing tube with solvent for a nightly shutdown. To complete the daily shutdown, we want to come to the main air inlet ball valve and turn it in the position. By doing so, you now release the air from the system back, killing all the air to the complete machine.